are such an asshole. Zach writes, Hey asshole, could you do a Clary test on Francisco Franco, the Spanish dictator who defeated the Second Spanish Republic, its red communist hordes in the Spanish Civil War? Man, Spain had to fight off the communists and the Muslims. It's a lot of fighting off there. There's some balls over there in Spain. I once dated this Spanish girl in high school and she said, and she told me that he actually did a lot of good for Spain at the time. I'd imagine so. Uh, kind of like... Uh, Chile is the most successful South American country because uh, Pinochet killed a bunch of parasites. I'm not going to call them communists because that's a euphemism for parasites. It's like, wow, imagine that. He killed the parasites and society somehow grew better than the rest. And meanwhile, Venezuela is doing just as well as expected. Her family ironically fled to Cuba after the monarchy fell, as Cuba was a haven for conservative refugees back then. A short time after that, the Civil War began. I know that the Nationalists won, but the specific details are a bit fuzzy for me. I know nothing about the Spanish Civil War, absolutely nothing. I did listen to a podcast about it, but I fell asleep um, and, and zonked out. It was sometime in the 1930s, so before Cuba was communist itself. After that, her family returned to Spain sometime before Castro took power in Cuba. After Franco died, he installed the monarchy in order to stabilize the country. I just didn't expect to have that level of intellectual conversation in high school, especially with an exchange student. She was both smart and hot, a rare combination nowadays. Wait, are you married to her? You once did. Ah, she's gone. Go find her, dude. She said that Franco and... She said that Franco now in Spain gets a bad rap automatically, just like anything right wing. Even the monarchy isn't so beloved anymore. I'd like this to be a video response, please. Thank you, asshole. Zach. All right, well, let's take a look at Francisco Franco. Look him up here. I'm just going to assume it was a guy who's like, dude, this shit is not going to work. This free. I mean. <clears throat> I know it sounds weird, but tough fatherly love in the form of, I'm going to kill you all because you're parasites. That actually does help out of society. It's like getting rid of cancer because that's what communists and socialists are. They are cancer. They do parasite off you. They are parasitic cells. They do not produce. They are not self-supporting. Oh, but you can't kill them. Oh, yeah, you probably could. Francisco Franco. Francisco Franco Bahamonde. 1892-1975 was a Spanish general who ruled over Spain as a military dictator from 1939 after the nationalist victory of the Spanish Civil War until it's his death in 1975. I do remember this. That's right. I rem Okay, it's coming back to me now like Spain was a dictatorship until recent. I was born in 75, but I do remember as being a kid, well, Spain was a dictatorship until very recently. During the 1923-1930 dictatorship of Miguel Promo de Rivera, Franco was promoted general at the age of 33, the youngest in Europe. As a conservative and a monarchist, Franco opposed the abolition of the uh, monarchy and the establishment of a democratic secular republic. <clears throat> Sounds like he had his philosophical head in the right place in the 1930s elections. The conservative Spanish Federation of Autonomous Right-Wing Groups lost by a narrow margin and the leftist popular front came to power intending to overthrow the republic. Franco followed other generals in launching a coup that failed to take control of most of the country and precipitated the Spanish Civil War. With the death of the other generals, Franco quickly became his fraction, faction's only leader. Franco gained military support from various authoritarian regimes and groups, especially Nazi Germany and fascist Italy. That's where the, that's where the bad side comes, came in. While the Republican side was supported by Spanish communists and anarchists, as well as the Soviet Union, Mexico, and international brigades. Boy, who, who do you really choose in that one? Like, yeah, I, I would still choose Franco, but I'd be throwing my lot in with the Nazis and fascists. <clears throat> That's the problem in democracy. It's, it's uh, stupid people can't get elected, obviously with Obama. And I, I respect democracy over what's right more than anything because it's free will. Uh, but then the left is so, so common in cheating and voting. And so dishonest. Yeah, he shouldn't have done it. 
I gotta go against Franco on this one. That's I, mean, I know, I know, I know. He made the place better, but uh, if the people want, you know, it's like Venezuela. They they did vote in Chavez. You idiots did. It was like, well, you get what you want. You did get Obama. You did get eight years of jack all economic growth. 1939, Franco won the war, which claimed half a million lives. He established a military dictatorship, proclaimed himself head of state and government under the title El Cadillo. In April 1937, Franco merged the fascist and traditional parties in the rebel zone, as well as other conservative and monarchist elements into FET e de los Jones. The same time he outlawed all other political parties and thus Spain became a one-party state. Well, that's wrong. That's just wrong. Okay, now I don't like this guy. I don't like him. That's not freedom. Upon his rise to power, Franco implemented policies that repressed political opponents and dissenters, as many as 400,000 of whom died through the use of forced labor and executions. Not, no, not a good guy. Not, you let the left suffer themselves. You don't, you don't kill them. Concentration camps as regime operated during World War II. He espoused neutrality of Spain's official wartime policy. Uh, however, he provided military support to the Axis in numerous ways. Not good. He allowed German and Italian ships and submarines to use Spanish harbors and ports. The Abwehr to operate in Spain and the Blue Division fought alongside Europe Axis against the Soviet Union until 1944. Although Franco Spain is often identified as fascist, most scholars consider it as conservative and authoritarian. <clears throat> Rather than truly fascist, yeah, but you, you scholars and academics don't even know what fascist is. You guys can figure that out. Um, not a good guy. Not, not, not. not I mean, okay, fine. I kind of understand what he did, but not acceptable. I'm just trying to look for wealth. Father was and Dalusian ancestry. This mean two centuries, naval officers, 600 pounds. His dad was a naval officer. Upper middle class, so they came from money, right? Point against them. Uh, the degree is not going to matter because uh, back in the day, college was not what it is today. Into the Navy. Spanish American War cost Spain its navy. No new entrance. Found out. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Went in the military. I'll give him credit for that. 19 was promoted to the rank of first lieutenant. Two years later, he became commissioner of Morocco. Spanish efforts to occupy their new African protectorate provoked and protracted rift war with native Moroccans. Oh, I didn't know there was a. See, now here's what. I want to write that down. The rift war. I didn't know anything about this. Rift war. Spain. Morocco. Badly wounded, so he gets credit for that. General election after ruling. He's one of the military, so he majored in something stupid. He does have real world working experience, but then he became a career politician afterward. I got him a point against that, so he gets a, he gets a score of two. Career politician, came from wealth. Has real world working experience, didn't major in anything stupid. One would argue this is potentially a three. Uh, would I like to have a uh, beer with him? No. No, I would not. Should he have ran for office? No. No, he should not have. Um, I have, I don't care if they're politically aligned with me. I have no tolerance for dictators and people who kill other people who disagree with them. Um, that is not freedom. Um, it's the sign of a not only a tyrant, but a low IQ individual, or at least a, a man lacking philosophy. It's not right. Uh, so yeah, no, I am not. I'm not a fan of Francisco Franco. Not at all. Um, yeah, not not good. All right, questions, answers, asshole consultant.com. See you guys later. Toodles. <laughs>